Germany, France, Spain. Three continental European big boys. Neighbours to one another, yet so incredibly different. Welcome back to the Travel Bible, I'm Sam, your narrator for the video. In this video, we'll be comparing three of the most visited countries in the world. France, Spain and Germany. Then once you've watched the video and dropped a like of course, we will ask you which one you'd live in, which one you'd visit and which one you'd avoid. We will compare their demographics, geography, economies, quality of life and we'll throw in some fun facts too because who doesn't like a good old geographical fact. So sit back, relax and we hope you learn something new. So starting off with their geographical locations on earth. Starting off with Germany. Germany is a western European country with a landscape of forests, rivers, mountain ranges and north sea beaches. Its capital city is Berlin. France is also a western European country, encompasses medieval cities, alpine villages and mediterranean beaches and of course the capital, the city of love, Paris. And finally Spain, a country on Europe's Iberian Peninsula includes 17 autonomous regions with diverse geography and cultures, with of course Madrid being its capital city. So now let's dive into their key demographics, starting off with their populations. With the lowest out of the three, we have Spain with roughly 47 million inhabitants, making them the 30th most populated country in the world behind Colombia and just above Uganda. And next we have France with just over 65 million people putting them above Italy and just behind the UK. And finally, the most populated out of the three and significantly the most populated European country, Germany with just under 84 million people. Now this excludes Russia and Turkey who are technically in both Asia and Europe. So this puts Germany slightly behind Iran and quite a bit above Thailand. Did they surprise you? Did you know Germany was so populated? Now that we know their populations, let's now take a look at their population densities. So, to no surprise, with 230 people per kilometre squared, Germany is by far the most densely populated out of the three. Next, we have France with around 104 people per kilometre squared. And then just behind, we have Spain with roughly 98 people per kilometre squared. By looking at their population and land size, this one was pretty obvious. Alright, cool, let's now take a look at the average life expectancy for their populations. So, as expected, this one was super close. We'll start off with the lowest out of the three, which is still very impressive. So at 80.9 years, Germans have the lowest life expectancy out of these three countries. Next we have Spain at 81.8, and then finally, ever so slightly above, we have France at a very respectable 82 years. And finally for population, let's quickly end with the average age of their populations. This one isn't so close. So, starting off with the highest out of the three, Germany at 48.5 years. This is mainly due to Germany being one of the highest developed countries on earth, meaning that they have an aging population. Next we have Spain at 44.3 years. And then finally, the youngest out of the three, France at 43.2 years. All right, let's now move on to comparing their geographical aspects. We'll start off by looking at their total land size. And oh boy, did this one take me by surprise. So out of the three, Germany is actually the smallest country by quite a bit at just 349,000 square kilometers, meaning that they are the smallest country with the biggest population out of the three. I personally thought Germany was much bigger than this. Then the second smallest we have Spain at just under half a million squared kilometers. And then finally the largest out of the three, France with roughly 640,000 squared kilometers. Let's now dive into the total length of coastline these nations have. With all three of these countries not being an island, this figure is quite low. So at just under 5,000 kilometers, Spain takes the win here, followed by France with 4,900, and then trailing behind we have Germany with 2,400 kilometers. Excluding Germany's northern area, Germany is actually a landlocked country surrounded by nine other nations. Those nine nations are Denmark, Poland, Czechia, Switzerland, Austria, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. And to finish geography, we'll take a look at the percentage of their land that is covered in forests. Forests are great for walks, removing pollutants from the air, and great habitats for animals. 
So another one which shocked me, Spain actually has the most at 37%, followed by Germany with 32 and then finally France with just 29% of their land being covered in forest. Alright cool, let's now move on. We'll now compare the economies and some financial statistics for these three awesome countries. Starting off with their GDPs and GDP per capitas. The gross domestic product, the GDP, reflects the value and productivity of an economy. It measures the market value of all the final goods and services produced annually. So with roughly 1.3 trillion, Spain has the smallest economy out of the three, putting them as the 14th richest country in the world, just behind Australia and just above Mexico. Next we have France, with roughly 2.6 trillion, making them the 7th richest nation on earth, just below the UK and above 0.5 trillion above Brazil. And finally, the richest country out of the three, Germany with roughly 3.7 trillion, making them the fourth largest economy in the world, behind Japan and above India. This also makes Germany the wealthiest nation in Europe. With global brands like Mercedes, BMW, Adidas, Audi and DHL all being German, this comes to no surprise at all. So now that we know their GDP, let's look at their GDP per capita. This is the total GDP divided by their population. So Germany of course wins this one with roughly 51,000 US dollars, followed by France with roughly 47,000 and then Spain lagging quite far behind at just $35,000. However, as of February 2021, according to Forbes' top 10 richest people on earth, there are no Germans or Spaniards on this list, but there is one Frenchman, Bernard Arnault, with a net worth of nearly $160 billion. Now let's take a look at how much national debt these nations are in. Of course, the lower here, the better. So Germany has by far the lowest amount of debt, with 64% of their annual GDP being owed. Then we have France with just under 97%, and then finally Spain with roughly 98%. And to finish off with economies, let's have some quickfire facts and statistics. So Germany has the lowest VAT at 19%. Spain has the lowest inflation rate at 0.5%. Germany has the third highest total billionaires at 107, followed by France with 39, and then finally Spain with 24. And now let's move on to the quality of living in these three countries. This is where they all excel. So all three have a public healthcare system. Spain is the most obese out of the three, with roughly 24% of their adult population being classed as obese, followed by Germany with 22%, and then finally France with 21.6%. 100% of all three countries' population have access to clean water sources. Germany then excels when it comes to healthcare, with an impressive 8.3 hospital beds per 1,000 inhabitants, and 4.21 physicians per 1,000 people. This compares to France's 6.5 and 4 respectively, and then Spain's 3 and 3.2. Now, this next one really took me by surprise. This is the percentage of their population being classed as under the poverty line. I expected all three of these nations to be single digits. However, we're looking at 21% for Spain, 17% for Germany, and 14% for France. I certainly was not expecting that. And now to end the video, let's have some quick fire statistics. So Germany is the 17th happiest nation in the world, followed by France in 23rd place, and then Spain in 28th. Germany ranks 22nd in the Global Peace Index, followed by Spain in 32nd place, and then remarkably, France in 60th place. Germany ranks as the 12th least corrupt nation in the world, followed by France in 21st place, and then Spain just behind in 24th. And last but not least, let's take a look at military strength. So finally, France gets a win, with the seventh strongest military in the world, followed by Germany in 15th place, and then Spain in 18th place. So now it's your turn. Let us know in the comments below which one you live in, which one you'd visit, and which one you'd avoid, and why. We can't wait to read your comments. And while you're there, let us know which cities or countries we should do next. Personally, I would live in Germany for the amazing quality of life, I'd visit Spain for the nice weather and beaches, and then I'd have to avoid France, unfortunately. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it or learned something new, please drop a like, and if you loved it, consider dropping a sub. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one.